I am now sponsored by SeatGeek and FanDuel. Make sure to use code BENGAL. That's code BENGAL for $20 off your first purchase on SeatGeek and $20 free to play when you sign up for FanDuel. Also, check out my Twitch for live streams, my second channel for other games. Both links are in the description. What's going on, guys? Bengal again here coming back at you with another video today back on Ozark State Outlaws Dynasty, where today we're going to take on the Troy Trojans. They are 2-9, and nine, and I have some bad recruiting news for you. This season has not gone according to plan whatsoever, in my opinion. It's just gone, I feel like, really, really poorly. And that is uh, just emphasized by the Brandon Campbell committing to LSU. So, you hate to see that. You really do. You hate to see that. We dumped a lot of points into him, and it does not pay off. And this would have been a really, really good player to get. Unfortunate. Here are the updates on Robert Hines and Oliver Nunez. Honestly, not too far behind. I'm not sure if we're going to have a chance to bring these guys in. In the offseason, we'll see what we can do, maybe. I don't know. But uh, we'll have to see. I don't know if we're going to make the cutoff. We do have a head coach upgrade that we can spend on one of our coach skill trees. And I'm not sure if I want to... I don't really think I want to do the kitchen sink quite yet. I think I'm going to do letter of intent, which is gaining 500, or excuse me, 5,000 extra recruiting points for the offseason. And a 20% chance you will see a like, prospect from their top school. Like, that's pretty good. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get it. I think that's good. Oh, didn't save it. Sick. But I'm going to do it, so. All right, so Troy on the schedule. We are away, but we're going to come out in uh, alternate away uniforms, which are these ones, I believe. Yeah. They're not very festive. And we'll come out in black pants. Why not? A combo we've never run before, including the alternate orange Ooh. helmet. <laughs> this does not look good. There's a reason I don't run them that often. So Scott Lewis with a broken collarbone is probable. Colby Spencer with a strained shoulder is probable, which means we should see both of them today. Pedro Goddard with a bruised shoulder. It's all like the shoulder and collarbone injuries, the same area. Uh, that's how we get injured. But uh, let's win this ball game. Colby Spencer should be back. And this is a pretty good time for it. Right before the conference championship. Let's just run through Troy. Veterans Memorial Stadium here at Troy. Nobody is coming to this game. Nobody's here. Yeah, they don't look that bad in game, to be honest. I just wish we didn't have, uh, like, white jerseys for our alternates. I wish there were, like, a light gray, maybe. I don't know. Welcome back, Colby. Like, these orange helmets look sick. I don't know about the rest, though. I'm waiting for something to get open. I think we got that. There it is. Jake Rodriguez. Gain of 43. Here we go, Colby. Oh, he's faster than ever. Triple option. Good pitch. Kedrick Cunningham. Except six. Colby Spencer, look how fast. Touchdown. Good to have you back. I don't know what this package is where Sandoval slaughters play a middle linebacker as he gets flattened and Devin Robeson dives and misses. I don't know. And Devin White's at uh, defensive end as Mike Lee comes all the way to make the tackle, but Barker picks up 56, it said, 50, jeez, man. Over the middle, touchdown, Tavares McCormick. Troy answers very quickly. Go Colby, ah, tackle from behind, damn. Third and six. Spencer escaping. And is just short and hit out of bounds. Ooh, we're going to get a free play here. 
Third and one. Here's a handoff to Lewis. Easy first down. And sacked. Looking for something to get open, and Zoe Bridges gets there. He just came flying, and I didn't even see him. Third and 32. I mean, that's open. We might as well throw it. Omar Williams out of bounds. So, going to be fourth and 12, and we will punt. Not to worry. You guys know I am the best punter on YouTube. Everyone knows this, so check it out. Slippery Pete Riley kicks it deep. Amazing. To read option. Someone get there. Devin White, big hit. Oh, good wrap up. Deontay McKeon. Barker loses three. That's got to be a play. Stovall intercepts it. And Freddy's going the other way. Great ball skills to intercept that one. Exactly what I needed to see the defense do. And that is our 20th turnover force this season. Hopefully only more to come in future seasons. There we go, Scott. We got great blocks and his speed is being... Fully utilized down the sideline, down to the one. Scott Lewis picks up 49. And we have good blocking. His speed is just too much. He's going to get around the edge every time. And Colby Spencer has another rushing touchdown. We need a flag on some of these hits. He's well into the end zone. And he looked like he might have been injured after that. Come on, man. Right there. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that's a call for a man. They're going deep. Chris Chase intercepted. I thought he got burned, but he came back and made the play. They took a one-on-one -on -one deep shot, and Chris Chase made him pay. Ball's going back the other way. That's open. Spencer finds Rodriguez. Good footwork. First down. Did not mean to press that button. Meant to go RB. Thought Scott Lewis was Y. Didn't read that well at all. Throw that quickly to Omar Williams. First down. And we're going Rodriguez. Colby Spencer fits it through. And Jake... Rodriguez drops the ball. Ah, come on, Jake. Wide open, Scott Lewis. I don't know what that is. Hand off, Scott Lewis. He's down inside the five. We might call hurry up here. Spencer. We're just going to throw it away. Scott Lewis, just short of the goal line. Hand off, Scott Lewis down in the backfield. Oh no. And um, that's the half. Time ran out because uh, I was trying to control the clock, forgot to turn it off conservative. And um, it ran all the way down in like a, a second. We lost 30 seconds. So it's still only a touchdown game. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? I love the young people. <laughs> it's an option. Get over there, Fisher. Good wrap up. That's going to the sideline at Douglas. Freddie Stovall can't catch up. To screen, Mike Lee. Good tackle. What a playmaker he is. 
Going over the middle right to Fisher. They get a first down to Gabe Hill. It's a screen. Come on, Devin. Break off that. Oh, my goodness. And their running back's going to break two tackles. Jamarius Henderson. It's going to be an option, and Deontay McKeon shuts it down. Single-handedly, his second tackle for loss on almost the same exact play. Troy going to get the field goal here. That one barely has the leg, but it does. If we had been able to kick a field goal before the half, we uh, would have had it now at a touchdown game. But, of course, we only have a four-point lead. I think our offense is strong enough where we'll be able to score a touchdown, and it won't even matter that we didn't convert at the end of the second half. Colby Spencer being chased, and he has space. We're just going to slide to avoid the big hit. Not trying to get injured. Throw that. Complete to Rob Gaither. First down. Read option to Colby Spencer. We're going to juke. Ah, can't juke him out. It's an option play. We're going to throw that. Complete. Rolling Francisco down at the five. We'll try read option. Handoff to Lewis. Just short again. Handoff on second and goal to Lewis. He dives in. Touchdown. We extend that lead again. It's going to be 21 to 10. At the end of the third. Here's a screen. Boy. Chris Chase knocks it down. Would have loved an interception there. I like these helmets a lot. I just, I don't like the alternate jerseys and kind of feel weird about the black pants. It's a run. It's a read option. Oh, he has some space too. Need Robeson to wrap up. And he finally does. Barker throwing. And it's interception number two for Chris Chase. How many interceptions are we going to get today? Chris Chase. Did we talk about it. Was it this episode? Talk about him getting burned. <laughs> Second pick of the game. We're going to throw it up. Spencer for Francisco over the head of the DB. It's a 39 yard touchdown. Easy. Third and nine. They go short to Hallman. What are they doing? Down by 18. This is your offense? Yikes. Throwing short. And Devin White's there combining with Chris Chase for the tackle. Turnover on downs. Oh, Scott Lewis. Unbelievable player. Wide open. Hunter register. Easy first down. And we are putting Troy to bed. We're going to throw that. Tough throw. But it's complete to Hunter Register. It's going to be third and one from the two, maybe? Handoff going to go to Kedrick Cunningham. He's going to walk in as well in the back of the right guard on the pole there. But easy touchdown. It's going to be 35-10 in favor of the Outlaws. Yeah, what are you doing, 63? See, I don't know what this package is. I thought it was a screen for a second. He's going to lob it out of bounds. Why is Sandoval Slaughter playing inside linebacker? And Devin White's playing defensive end. Doesn't make any sense. Oh, we missed with Albert Johnson. Turn around, Devin Robeson. Big tackle. 
And they're gonna go with Chris Chase again! Would have been interception number three. They keep throwing at him unsuccessfully. He's been great in man coverage, but uh, is Mike, why is Mike Lee playing defensive tackle? Wait, wait, what's happening here? Why is Mike Lee in at D tackle? <laughs> what is happening? Get there, Albert. Can't do it. Devin White. Can't even push him out of bounds. This guy's still going. How is he still standing up? Gabe Hill? Looks like a god. They're gonna throw, and Chris Chase drops another one. He would have four or five interceptions if his hands weren't so, I don't know, made of brick. I know how you can say that when he has two interceptions, which I think is probably the in-game record for us this series. Is Mike Lee gonna make a great tackle? But he's dropped two, debatably three. This will be the last play of the game, fourth and six. Let's see what Troy tries. They're gonna throw, and it will be incomplete. And that is the ball game. 35-10 is your final. We uh, were pretty dominant here over Troy. Defense made a ton of plays. Omar Williams was a couple of catches early, and then, I mean, we didn't really pass most of the second half, I feel. It was a lot of running the football. And uh, I think we did it oh, fairly successfully. So uh, that's going to be the game here. Let's go ahead and check out the stats before we call it a day. Chris Chase, undoubtedly the MVP. Two interceptions. Colby Spencer was great in his return. Scott Lewis was good in his return. Great as a receiver. Um, two catches, 27 yards. Jake Rodriguez. No one really caught the ball a lot today. No real yardage. We had actually a receiving touchdown for Roland Francisco, and that was it. Only uh, two catches for him. And then as far as sacks goes, we didn't have any. Wow. Two tackles for loss for Deontay McKeon, though. And then two interceptions for Chris Chase. One for Freddie Stovall. Three deflections for Chris Chase. Two of those were drop picks. Two of those were dropped. One was a nice play, but it could have been a pick six, maybe. But, uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next one. Easy win over Troy. And uh, that was our last regular season game, so... The next, next couple weeks are going to be insane. But I will see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.